Hi everyone, my name is Daisy. Today we are going to be creating a miniature vase with a face. Let's do it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to roll a couple pieces of clay. Then I'll take the rounded end of my tool and I'll open up a small cavity. And then once I have it opened, I could pinch it out a little bit wider if I choose to before I score and slip it together. They're like tiny miniature pinch pots. I'm gonna score with my serrated rib. And then I will create some pressure to stick them together and blend away the seam. I'll roll them in my hand to make them a little bit more round and for good measure on the table as well. Next, I'm gonna create the vase neck. I'm gonna do so by rolling out a small coil, getting it to the shape I want it to be, and then poking through it with the stick end of my tool. I'll widen it by wiggling it around on both ends and then I will attach it by scoring and slipping as always. I can blend and blend away the seam. And just for good measure, after I try blending it a little bit, I can also take a small coil and put it around the base of the neck so I can get rid of that seam completely and also create a nice curvature to the base. Next, I'm gonna take my tool and I'm actually gonna go all the way through it so that the neck and the body have a nice opening. If you glaze the inside, it'll be able to hold water and you can eventually put little flowers in there. I'm gonna use this modeling tool to shape the bottom of it before I create the foot. And then I'll take my paintbrush and with the end of the paintbrush, I'm gonna create a little indentation for the foot. I'll keep it simple with this one. So that's pretty much how I create my miniature vases. Now I'm gonna add a face to this one. I'll indent a little area where I'll put the eyes in, scoring and slipping. And then I'll fasten one eye and the other and I'm gonna create a little cavity for the mouth to fill there we go scoring and slipping I'll attach the mouth and clean up as I go And with the end of my paintbrush, I'm going to create a little indent in that, create some lips around the mouth. For this one, I'm just going to use the end of my pencil to create the iris, the pupil. <laughs> and I've had a huge fascination with um, faces on vases with tongues. So I'm gonna add a tongue to this one, just for fun. Don't forget to score and slip, especially attachments like this one that are so fragile. I'll clean it up a little bit and he's pretty much done. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you would like to see more videos on ceramics. You can find some more on our channel, The King and the Flower. Thank you for watching.